a few minutes, please. It's not a pretty sight. You never was. You all right, Mike? How did you know I was here? Did you tell him? Ruth rang me, yeah. I said I didn't want them involved. You don't know what's best for you. Will you stop fussing? Is Peter Bishop behind this? Yeah, and that filth Bob Schofield. I fell down the cellar stairs, that's all. I've got nothing to say to you. 340 Quinnan, I'm here for the case of Schofield. No quarter sight. Stands a floater. Oh, great. Oh, you brought a good book. If you've got something concrete on Peter Bishop, I want it. I told you about Bishop's involvement with the computer hall and the cass and warehouse job. Yeah, but the deal was you'd stand up in court and you'd give evidence. I've had enough of your deals. I did my bit, and that's it. It doesn't mean that. Did you witness this, or? No. I was walking the dog. If Schofield gave you this beating on Peter Bishop's say-so, now is not the time to keep quiet about it. Give him a statement. Did Bishop order this beating to keep your mouth shut? You just don't listen, do you? I have nothing to tell you. Then you're a bigger fool than I thought you were. At least I'm still breathing. You don't know when you're being offered a good deal, mate. Dawn. PC Quinnan. I was the arresting officer. Sorry. Yeah, it's been a long time. All set, then? Yeah. Feeling good. Good. Look, someone will be over with your statement soon, so you can check through the details. I'm hardly likely to forget what Bob Schofield did, am I? No. Look, it's going to be a bit of a hold-up. They haven't assigned us a court yet. I thought we'd just go straight in. Uh, no. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> They're not exactly famous for their speed here. Do you want a cup of tea? So what are we going to move on to the next, then? Are you telling me I should let this one go? No. What? Well, don't. Excuse me. Oh, what does she want? I thought I'd missed you. Look, Mike's too old to take a beating like that. He's very confused. He don't know what he's saying. Well, he seemed pretty sure of himself just now. So, I'll do a statement for you instead. How do you mean? I'll swear on oath that Bob Schofield all but killed Mike on Peter Bishop's say so. You, you just told us you weren't there. Never mind that. I'm giving you the chance to put Bishop and Schofield away. But you'd be lying. What difference does that make? Lots. I don't want Mike ending up dead. They don't play by the rules, why should you? Look, I know you mean well, but it just doesn't work like that. Mike's got to make the statement. But he won't. The only way is if Mike gives us the works on Bishop. The teams he's fixed, the jobs they were for, what he's fenced for him, who assaulted him and why. Don't ask much, do you? Yeah, well, nothing comes cheap these days, Ruth. So, we want tea, coffee on. Long time no see. Yeah. Mr. Schofield, I suggest you stay away from the witness. It's a real shame it's come to this, Don. Mr. Schofield. We're only talking. Oh. Give it a rest, mate. Come on. Looking good, Don. Excuse me. Who was that? Peter Bishop, his boss. You all right? I'm um, no. Two of them together is a bit much to take without warning. Don't worry, I'll be fine when we get into court. Just churns up bad memories, that's all. Come on. Is there any point to this visit? Look, we both know Peter Bishop's behind all this. Yeah, we've got nothing on him. So, I just want a quick chat. Excuse me? Is Mr Bishop around? We'd like a quick word. Sorry, he's just snipped out. He shouldn't be long. That's OK. We'll wait. Visitors, how nice. Well, you have to be quick. I'm running a bit late this morning. One of your associates was the victim of a very nasty assault last night. Really? Who? Mike Walker. Oh, dear. Look, I don't want to do him a disservice, but he's hardly an associate. But he does work for you. Well, I'll let him keep his hand in. A few quid here and there. Doing what? What messages, errands. He's a bit past the heavy duty labouring. Is he in a bad way? Whoever did it made a bit of a mess of him, yeah. Never had tried it 20 years ago. By all accounts, he was someone to reckon with. So you had no idea he'd been assaulted? No. Of course not. You can't think of any reason why someone might want to hurt him? No. 
Would you mind telling me where you were between 10 and 11 last night? Not at all. I was down the Chevron Club. Is there anyone who can verify that? You can always ring the manager. Or ask Bob Schofield. He was with me. Now, if you'll excuse me, gents. Is Mr. Schofield around? No, it's his day off. And you wouldn't happen to know where we might find him, would you? Well, it's funny, that. I'm not his keeper or anything, but actually I do. He's down at Canley Crown Court. What's that for, then? Some domestic got out of hand with his ex. I keep well out of it. All right, thank you, Mr. Bishop. I'm sure we'll be seeing a lot more of each other very soon. Any time. If you see Mike Walker again, uh, tell him he's in my thoughts. Not pleasant reading, eh? Brings it all back like it was yesterday. Still, at least it's clear. I mean, there's no way he's going to get away with this. Let's hope not. I'd like to see his lawyer twist what I've said there. Well, you'd be amazed. I mean, he's got a top barrister. And it would have helped if somebody had been prepared to make a statement on your behalf. Bob's got a lot of friends. Don't worry. Don't worry, just tell it as it was. You'll be fine. I'm not worried. Cheers. Non-starter. The manager of the club confirmed Bishop's alibi. Well, I could have told you that before you made the call. Bishop's not going to chuck us a freebie, is he? Well, there is the possibility that none of this is down to Bishop. No, it's got his name written all over it. Right, phone the Crown Court, find out if Schofield actually turned up. If he didn't, we'll pay him a visit. Did you know Scope would have fun when you started going out with him? Yeah. It's amazing what you turn a blind eye to when you love someone. Hey, well out of it. It's easy for you to say. We were going to get married. <laughs> well, I reckon you had a lucky escape. You call this a lucky escape? Well, no, no. I, I didn't mean it like that. Yeah, I know. All I know is I was dancing with this bloke as bosses do. Suddenly, bang, smashed a bottle across my face. Said I was showing him up in front of his mates. Maybe someone like that wouldn't have made an ideal husband. 36 stitches. Still, saved me a fortune in party frocks. I won't be a minute. Mm. Is dear Spalton here? Um, I'll ring through and ask for you. Can you tell me what it's about? Just say it's Ruth Walker. I've got something for him. Okay. You all right, Dawn? She's fine, aren't you? Don't push your luck, Schofield. Come on, Dawn, stay away from the witness. You look after yourself, babe. What did he say to you? Nothing. He was just going on about wanting to get back together. Did he threaten you? No. Look, that phone call just sent was about another assault he was supposed to have committed. He's got to be put away. Don't let him get to you. I'm not. Look, I'm sorry. This canteen is driving me crazy. I'm going outside and get some here. Do you want me to come with you? No, I'll be fine. I just need a couple of minutes. Look, I'll come with you. No, it? I'm all right, really. I just want to sort myself out. I can't go into court in this state. I'll be all right. I'll see you out. Make sure he stays away. Okay. Okay. Mark doesn't know I've got this. What is it? A record of all his meetings with Bishop and Schofield. All the teams he's fixed for them and everything he's fenced. Dates, places, it's all here. Why didn't you give us this before? I didn't want to drop Mark in it. Can we do a deal? Well, if it leads to an arrest, I might see what I can do, but I'm not promising anything. Like the best you can do? Under the circumstances, yes. Well, at least let me see what it is we're talking about. What made you write it all down? So I could stick it to Bishop if ever I needed to. Right, let's see what you've got down here for the 14th of last month. You'll have to make a statement saying that you had it over as evidence. All right. Casson Street Warehouse. That's very good. Don't! What are you doing? 
It's all gone. Any of this Peter Bishop investigation? There's this entry for the 14th. It puts Peter Bishop at the Casson warehouse at the time of the robbery. I don't see him being within 20 miles of any job he's organised. If he was that stupid, we'd have nicked him months ago. It's a 250 grand haul. Maybe he wanted to keep an eye on it. Anything else? The rest is hearsay. This is the only positive link, but it's got to be worth a visit. Twice in one day. That's bordering on harassment. I'll do it by the book, Gov. Make sure you do. I don't want any backlash. She's bottled it. She's jumped in a cab. She's gone. So you just let Dawn Finity go? I was giving her some breathing space. Without Miss Finity, I can't see that Scofield has a case to answer. Yeah, I know that. Do you know where she might have gone? Home, I suppose. I suggest you try and bring her back. It's hard enough trying to get a conviction without losing the witness as well. How much time do you reckon we got? Looking at the list, I seriously doubt we're getting to court before lunch. But you never know. Well, I'll go and tell the court inspector what's happened and shoot off. If we do get called in, you'll square it with the judge, won't you? You don't leave me much choice, do you? Good. Sorry for keeping you waiting, gentlemen. Right. Now, what can I do for you this time? We're investigating a robbery at the Cass and Wine and Spirits Warehouse. It took place on the 14th of last month. Oh, yeah? Would you like to tell us where you were between midnight and 2 a.m. on that day? Not at all, if it'll help. But do you mind telling me why? We have information that leads us to believe that you might be able to help us with our inquiries. Yeah? I can't think why, but... Uh... Still, you never know. Let's have a look. 14th. I knew that date rang a bell. I was stuck over in Jersey Airport. You sure about that? Oh, yeah, I should have been back, but... We stranded overnight while they fixed the plane. Typical. Didn't sleep a wink. Should I get Nicky to sort out the ticket receipt for you? I don't like being made to look stupid, especially in front of Bishop. Have I done something wrong? He was in Jersey when you say he was at the Casson warehouse. Are you just going to take his word for that? Yeah, well, he's got something you haven't got. Proof. There's plenty of other things in here. Well, if that one's a lie, why not the rest? You can't fight Bishop by the rules. Don't tell me how to do my job. And don't waste my time anymore. Oh, you're worse than Bishop is. I place my trust in you. What is it? You taking backhanders from him? Next time you have a cosy little chat with him, you tell him he ain't getting away with it. Don't push it! I'm not coming back. I must be mad to press charges in the first place. Look, Dawn, it doesn't have to end here. If Schofield threaten you, we can do something about it. What? Tell him not to? I tell the judge. It'll add to his sentence. And what if the judge is a complete idiot and gives him something useless like community service? It's not gonna happen. Not with Schofield's form. Is that a promise? No, I can't guarantee it. Better be back on the streets for definite if you don't come back and with no bail conditions. It doesn't matter. You get your conviction. All I get is a few years' breathing space. Do you think you'll forget about me in that time? I'll be the first person he visits on his release. Bob won't come near me as long as I don't cause him trouble. That's not the way I read it. I know what I'm doing. Come on, Dawn. God, it's not you talking. You all up for it this morning. Don't let him walk all over you again. What am I supposed to do? I do all the right things, and still they win. They're the ones in charge, not you. Tell that to the judge. He's the one who can do something. No. Bob promised me a Chinese smile if I gave evidence. Ear to ear. Just to make sure every time I open my mouth, I think of him. There's a big difference between threats and actually carrying them out. <laughs> Says who? In his case, one follows very quickly on from the other. If you don't stand up to him now, you never will. Walking away is not going to solve anything. And getting my face cut up again is. Sorry. It's not worth it. Look, I've got to get back to work. There's no point losing more hours than I have to. OK, cheers. Sergeant, just had an all-units call. There's been a stabbing at Bishop's Yard. I'll let Cad know what's happening. You're all right, Steve. Right, then. I was sorting out some bills with Peter. <laughs> and this woman came in and... Yeah, all right, Nicky, all right. In your own time, try and start again from the beginning. 
everyone else was on lunch and I was in with Peter when this woman came in. So you actually witnessed the assault? No. Peter told me to leave. I just heard all this arguing. And you know what they were arguing about? Something to do with the police. I don't know. It was all over so quickly. And did Peter know the woman? I think so. And do you know her? No. But you'd recognise her again, would you? Oh, yeah. You all right, Bob? Yeah. What are you two doing here? Same as you. We've just seen Peter Bishop off in the ambulance. Yeah, we've been investigating him for a while now. Hello, Nicky. Well, Nicky uh, says that she would recognise the female assailant again. It was a woman? Yeah. Well, go on, then. Well, she was in her 50s, reddish hair, a bit rough-looking, blue top. What's she going to do something like that for? It's all right, Nicky. Take it easy. We've got a pretty good idea who the suspect is. You can tidy up here, can't you, Bob? Come on, then. You been out, then? Yeah. I've been to the hospital to see Mike. Oh, yeah. Can we come in? Come round and give me that advice. Well, it's a bit late for that now. Peter Bishop's just been stabbed. Is he dead? No. Do you mind telling me where you've been in the last hour? Told you. Went to the hospital to visit Mike. We can easily pick up the phone to check. Go on, then. Don't waste any more of our time. We've got an eyewitness who's made a positive ID of you at Peter Bishop's not 30 minutes ago. She must be mistaken. She? Who said our witness was a woman? Well, they usually are. Did you stab Peter Bishop? No. I've had enough of this. I'm arresting you for assault. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention, when questioned, something which you later rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. Someone had to do something. You wouldn't. I have to advise you not to say anything until you're interviewed. He laughed at me. Pushed me up against the door. I only got the knife out to frighten him. He just laughed. Made me so angry. He dared me to do it, so I did. Come on. I only wanted to give him a taste of his own medicine. John, what's the story on Bishop? Sadly, he's off the danger list. Is he pressing charges? Yeah, he's just given a statement to Steve Loxton. you better go and interview Ruth Walker then, hadn't you? Didn't you see this coming? No, Gov. In my opinion, there wasn't the slightest indication that Ruth Walker was anything other than hot air. I agree. Well, you were both wrong, weren't you? I'm still going after him, though. Let it go. Well, with respect, sir... Yes, Gov. I'll have to withdraw. Without Miss Finity and a statement relating to the intimidation, there's no case for Schofield to answer. No chance of getting it adjourned. Highly doubtful. Now we'd be given a call to present the case. I can try, but don't raise your hopes. I won't pass that stage. This way, please. Sarge, Ruth Walker's tape. She's admitted it. Well, I'll get a process and bailed. No point in hanging about. So what now? Fingerprints, photo, charged and bailed. Just like that? Just like that. At least he knows what it's like to be on the receiving end of things now. You've solved nothing. Only because he's still breathing. Still worth it. Just to see the look on his face when he went down. Yeah, well, best not go public on that one, eh? Don't tell me you wouldn't like to have stuck in one. No, I wouldn't. Bishop's not worth going to prison for. We'd have got him in time. Time's what me and Mark ain't got. I just wanted some peace. Yeah. And I suppose I get the booby prize of doing all the paperwork for this little mess. Maybe later, after we get back from the hospital. She's done what? Knifed Peter Bishop. He's just down the corridor. You're joking. When was the last time you witnessed my sense of humour? Well, what does she want to go and do something like that for? Is she all right? Yeah, but if she ever needed you to stand up for her, it's right now. Oh, marvellous. She needs your help. I'm the one that needs help. 
I'm a dead man. I'm sure Ruth will be very touched by your concern. Well, they won't touch her. It's me they'll come after. Then make a statement. But that'll only help you. No, it'll help Ruth. Ruth's admitted it. She's going down. No question. But if you give us chapter and verse, her brief will have mitigating circumstances to play with. Leave me alone, will you? I'm not digging myself in any deeper. We've got enough trouble, thanks to you lot. Oh, you don't know the half of it. Ruth's given us her diary. What diary? It's a record of all your dealings with Bishop, and it incriminates you right up to the armpits. She's written everything down. What for? To use against Bishop. But he's all alibied up. However, with your record and with my say-so, soon as you're out of here, you're nicked. You wouldn't. Watch me. You bastards. We've been called worse than that. Think about it. How much will it help her? About five years. All right. You win. Sorry. I did my best, but I did warn you. Well, it was the judge apologising to Schofield for the distress he'd been caused to put the cherry on it for me. Well, I have to get back. I have a lunch appointment. All the best. Pleasure. Want a lift? Schofield beat me up. Bishop sent him round to remind me who my friends were. And doesn't that feel better already? He only used his feet. He trod on my face. I used to have respect. You're not going to retract this later on? No. Call Dave Quinn in the court. Find out what happened with Schofield. Right. I'll do my best, Rod. Yeah, sure. Is there a quick way to the car park? Yeah, through the fire exit. Stand on your left. Thanks. Switch the engine up and step out of the car, please. Oh, just do it. This is out of order. I'm arresting you on suspicion of assault. I've just been let off. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention when questioned something which you like to rely on in court. Anything you do so may be you? given in evidence. Shift. I hope you've got that car. Oh, yeah. We've also picked up your old friend Bob Schofield. Seems he did a little job for you earlier, among others. Busy boy. I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, you do. You can't bring this in here. I'm on the danger list. You're right there. Because as soon as you're better, I'm coming back for you. No rush.